Welcome back. The influencer's journey continues as we try to get a crown to gain notoriety. And then we will influence. No, I don't want to do that. And for now, we're going into Kakabed in order to influence. The path winds through slopes and uh, wild scrub land. The countryside is deserted and the eerie silence is broken only by the calling of the occasional crow. There's a spell for hearing what they say, but you do not have the equipment it requires. The birds appear to deposit in the air to examine you as they pass. They make you uneasy, as if you're an intruder in their presence. Yeah, sucks to suck. Barely an hour beyond the wall, there begins to grow foul. The shot Munanti uh, hills are infested with the pestilence of the backlands. Steps energy from their body, leaving you feeling nauseous and weak. Ha! Huh. Yeah, I just lost 10 uh, max stamina there, so that's nice. Yeah, cover my mouth. Yuck. Cover your mouth with, with your neck scarf, but it does salt like jack shit. They warned you of this. You will grow accustomed to it the longer you are out here, but for the moment, you must be very careful. Huh. Alrighty then. Okay. We're making our first choice here. Uh, Cross country or just follow the road. Hmm. Well, looking ahead, there's, like, a little village here. And it's like, do I want to travel cross-country in these old fantasy times? Hmm. Nah. Just take it safe. Another hour passes, and you crest a small hillock, from the top of which you can see the path continuing downwards into a small settlement of huts. This must be Ah, uh, look at it. From the distance, it's hard to make out uh, much about the town, except it must be desperately poor. The fields on either side are uh, brown with caked mud, and the few penned animals are thin and wizened like thirsty vines. Heh. Nothing here to protect. Alright. Oh, <laughs> we can just avoid it all entirely. Damn. That seems like there's a little, like, cave shit over here. You know, I'm gonna take the game's advice. If there's really nothing to see there, then I don't I don't care for it. We're just gonna avoid it entirely. Screw that. Perhaps this is the way the surgeon described the town, or perhaps it's simply a feeling in your gut. Either way, you leave the path and head off towards the scrub. Walking perhaps a mile or so out of a way to avoid the town. See, I'm an influencer, right? But I want my followers to be of the pristine quality. I ain't going to no dinky, run-of-the-mill, doo-doo town. Nah. I'll get my followers from some rundown cave in the middle of nowhere. From the top of the rise, you get a good view of the Redan Head across the, the river. What's up? The river cuts a slash across the land, protecting Kentapani from the dangers of the far bank. There's another village of rough huts on that side. And even from here, you can see the sharp poles from the spike in the earth between the buildings, a common sight in the villages of headhunters. Oh! Okay. You know, my my followers uh, will be a strange bunch, but you know, I got I gotta hand it to them. You know, uh, uh, never mind. I have nothing to hand to them. I I am very scared, and I do not want to die. Uh, looking east, there's a glimmer of blue. The sea, blue shorelines, and the caves. The place they say is haunted by spirits. Oh, you know, we can get some otherworldly followers. You know, we gotta gotta try something new out here. In this fantasy land. The cliffs of the Kakabout Sea are too intriguing. You have never before left Ina Land, and now the draw of the legendary spot is too strong. They say the first wizards grew from the cracks in the rocks of these caves. They were tugged out by salamanders. They say the tunnels move as the moon moves. They say the wind plays a song as it blows past the entrances, and that this song will make anyone fall in love with you as you sing it. Huh. Well, the problem is I'm not looking for love. I'm looking for followers. So... Yeah. I'm good, bro. It's all nonsense. Uh, but the tales have dra uh, drawn you all the same. Oh, shit. You sail across the hills and quickly reach the edge of the cliff. Below, sea spray pounds the beach. Hundreds of feet down, the view of the distance goes on forever in a day. What, what's over there? When it whips as <laughs> you tune, it pulls your hair as you stand at the very uh, lip of the cliff and look out across the endless ocean. This is the far east, and they say the sea runs to the edge of the world as the, and then runs away, like beer brimming over the lip of a tankard. 
They say the pull of the flow is like an endless tide that carries men's hearts and eyes with wistful desire. Each of us would fly east if we could. Huh. Sounds cool to me. You know? But there are no cave mouths up here on the cliff top. Yeah. Cliff top, you look for an entrance and see nothing, except by the very edge of the cliff, a shallow lip of scree, and beside it, a rock covered in strange markings. A flock of gold spins in the sky above you, screaming and calling. Hmm. Okay. So, seems dangerous and cool, but you know. Influencers gotta do some crazy shit to get out of here, you know. Maybe we can get some cool treasure. Talk to my boys in Cantapani. Say what's up, say what's up. Examine that shit. Squat down the clear moss from the marked rock and is inscribed with a riddle. This is the way that the sorcerer went, and this is the place called the Wizard's Descent. Forward he stepped to prove what he meant, then he fell, then he floated, and so did not repent. He goes to Winthorns to pull you over the cliff edge. Hmm. Okay. So basically, we gotta... We're gonna step over the lip. We can't just look over it, because that's not what the riddle said. We gotta be brave. So then we're gonna fall. And then we're gonna cast a spell, if I remember correctly. In Handy Dandy Book. Where is it? Yeah, Foth. Wait, no, it's not that one. Where is it? We we will not be mentioning this um this spell, and we will not be using it. By the way, <laughs> how? Uh, yeah, fall. Yeah, this one. We're gonna be using that, so we're gonna jump off the cliff and we're gonna fall. Easy. I don't even got time for clues. I already solved it. Step. Yeah. Remember a quick prayer to the fox, your spirit? Eh? Oh yeah, I guess it's up here. Alright. You close your eyes and step forward. Once, twice, and then your heel slips and you're falling. Got a spell. Alright. We already done solved this. We smart cookie. That's right. Follow that shit. In the remaining moments, you cast the spell as soon as you finish it. Your fall slows as though a hand has cupped you and is lowering you to earth. You come to rest without instant on the grass. Hell yeah. The ledge. And I'm recording all of this, by the way. This is all going on Instagram. Everyone will know how baller I am. Now you're in trouble. Halfway up and halfway down, you're on the ledge. And arms sp span wide with a drop down to the bearing beating sea. There's no way back up. You have no choice but to follow the ledge and see where it leads. There's only one thing of note here, a glyph painted on the wall, in over light brown paint. Hey guys. You know, just chilling by the cliffs in the cockbound sea. Look, there's even a dragon over there, this is awesome. Catch you guys later when I update you. Oh, uh, yeah, examine it. You peer at it, the color is odd and faded, but it appears to be a P. You follow the ledge carefully around, hoping to find some way forward. A few yards later, you're a sp Spoilt by choice, there's not one cave mouth ahead of you, but two. Huh. A glyph painted on the wall in light brown paint. What spells begin with P? Let's check. Uh. If I ever get a pebble, we can use pop. But other than that... Yeah, no luck. Um. Hmm. So, it's giving me the choice to cast a spell. But, oh, we can choose a cave, so let's just look at him. Appear into the darkness of the left cave, it appears to be a slope a little way downwards into the darkness, and the smell coming from it's salty and fresh. Perhaps it leads to the sea, or perhaps it drops to the flooded pool. 
by the cave mouth is a low boulder. A smell of salt breeze emerges from the left-hand cave. Salt breeze. Does that mean the sea? Probably does. And a low boulder too. What do we got in the right? Little except a faint and distant glow. A light whistling of wind comes from the wind. Okay. Noted. This is game in the boulder. Alright. About the size of your head. And roughly cubic. Huh. Hmm. Well, that's quite an odd shape then. I sit on it. Why not? I'm tired. Sit yourself down on the board and look at the sea. A moment later, you realize you'll be sitting here for the rest of your life if you don't find a way to escape the sludge. <laughs> okay, good one. <laughs> the wind blows a little dust in the right hand cave. Uh, roll it? Hmm. Oh god, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, looks not too heavy. And you could probably roll it over, but which way? Hmm. Well, let's look back. Huh. I wasn't expecting to be quizzed already. <laughs> I don't know. We can probably do both, so upwards. You heave the boulder over until the moss side, or free side is uppermost. It takes some strength to do. Much better place to sit now. So you resume your place. Oh, let's sit on it again. Oh, never mind. We're done. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, fine. So we heard a wind coming from the right one. And it seemed like salt was coming from the left one. So. I think there's light in the right too. I assume the left is going to take us down. So let's go there. Moving slowly to let your eyes adjust to the dark. If you have seen your fingers running across the wall, feel the shape of a symbol covered in the rock. What's up? Pause to examine the scratch mark on the wall. It appears to be the letter O. The cave continues into the hillside, then turns down a slope. The walls grow narrow on either side. You're squeezing yourself deeper and deeper into the agent heart of Dadule, with no certainty that you'll ever reemerge. How good. Then an opening appears and a gust of wind, and a hint of a strange green light. Squeeze through the narrow opening into a wider tunnel. See? We're smart. We know a thing or two about salt. The inside of this cave is lined with bright fluorescent streaks from some strange mineral in the wall. It glows into a grisly green color, forming characters and slash marks. Without them, you would be lost in the dark. Then you see a patch of sunshine up ahead. Well, examine it. You pause a moment to look at the seams in the rock. Their pattern does not seem random, but more like characters in some language you do not recognize. As if someone had written a message into the very rock itself. But if so, it was a message you cannot understand. You move towards the light, almost tripping over your feet in the dark until you find yourself in a low chamber. Despite being closed off and sheltered from the wind, it is well lit by the sunlight streaming in. Through the narrow cave mouth, you see sand stretching down the shoreline. Well, I guess... Can we examine more? See a small patch of fluorescent seam... But in the bright sunlight and shine, its glow is lost and its dark, glassy mark directly below a small flat stone. Hmm. Wasn't there a spell for this shit? Let me check. <laughs> uh, it's not sus. It's not that one. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, fog. Wait, no, that doesn't do anything. Never mind. Or in this scenario. Hmm. Maybe I could use tower there, but eh, who cares? I I have no need for magic. Just lift the stone. What's up? 
You lift the stone, and underneath you see an inscription in the same hand as the others you have seen. This is the place where the sorcerer saw something all others would simply ignore. It spoke to a darkness inside that he bore. So he stopped and he gloomed and made the light come once more. You replace the stone. Oh shit. Another riddle. Um. Let's simply ignore. He spoke to the darkness inside that he bore. So he stopped and he gloomed and made light once more. How do we make light? Do we have anything with that? Shit. Uh. Off wall. We can, we can zap. Or we can fire. Hot. Uh. Um. Yeah, that's all I've got. Try those some. What do we get? Yeah, we get hot. But, uh, what other spells can we do here? We could, <laughs> dude, but that doesn't matter right now. <laughs> Free light. We do not have a sun jewel. Fog. Nah, we're already in darkness. Yeah. You know what? Let's try it. No. It's hot. hot. Great fireball. Why not? Wrist spell covered in fireball from your palm. That fills a small room with light and powerful heat. Water from the floor begins to seem and create pistols. And Nothing happens. Okay. Screw this. I'm, d I'm out. I don't care about the riddle anyway. Who cares? I did all for that for nothing. Whatever. Wait, what was it? You walk out into the sand to find you are not alone. A small sailboat is pulled up in the shallows, and beside it, a woman sits in a low stool with a strange flat loom on her lap. She's weaving a long belt of tightly woven, brightly colored cloth. Huh. Our first follower is... has been located. There's no need to watch her work. Time to get her. Yo, what's good? Greetings, she declares. It's been some time since I had a, a, a visitor. Yes. The great influencer is upon you. Get ready to follow my Instagram. Uh. Hmm. Hello. Uh, who is you? I have many names and faces, she smiles, but you, you only have one. Okay, so we've just ticked off a bunch of red flags already. Um. But it is our first follower, so... Watch you with great patience. Um... You know... I'm at the... Um... What are you doing here? You're weaving. You sure are. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting. To ask a question. Are you to answer it? Um... Shoot. It is a simple matter. She holds up two strings at the end of the boat she was weaving. They have diverged just at the moment she ceased her work. It is about you. When the time comes to risk yourself for another, for no gain of your own, which would you rather which would you would rather choose? The way of danger or the way of coward? I've looked but I cannot decide. Hmm. Now I would do anything for my followers, right? Of course I would. But. They have to become my follower first. And if they're not subscribed to my Instagram. Then uh. I don't know. So you know this question depends. But you know what. I'll answer. I've got five stamina. Hell no I ain't doing no danger. I'm a coward. Shut your ass up. I see. The woman gathers her limo up under one arm and steps back under into her boat. You have everything you need, she declares. Now you must simply leave this place and return to where you should be. The land of Dadule is not meant to be lived in. Well. 
I have no I can't climb the cliff lady. I'm sorry to tell you. No can do. I ain't going to that boat with her. If you've found your way to me, then you have learnt how you must return. Then she reaches up to her head and pulls out a single golden strand of hair which she gives to you. You will need this for your spell of returning. Then with a breathed word, her boat creeps out into the waves. The sails fail and her song is lost to, uh, on the wind. Okay. What the hell did I get? Gold pieces? Weapons? Uh, it's not my inventory. Okay. By the cliffs. Also, she sang a song. I think that had something to do with the love shit at the beginning. But, uh, so it's a good thing I didn't talk to her much. What do we got? The hair is just a single strand, as long as your arm, and so fine and golden it is almost invisible against the waves. The wind threatens to snatch it from you. The waves leap gr uh, lap great and gently at the shore, but you are not fooled, the tide is rising. Huh. Well, I'll trust her. Okay. What do we got here? Got a spell. Hmm. So we've been learning letters throughout our going down this cave, and I think I'm gonna have to use them. I think it went P O. Ah, uh, but I only found two letters, not the last one. Shit. Oh no. Hmm. And the last letter was probably in that puzzle I couldn't solve. So what do we have here? We have P, T, K. Okay. 33% chance we get this right. And you know? Pop that shit. You attempt to raise a spell that does not exist, and you suffer the harsh consequences of the magic life around you. Oh good! The wind finally gets the better of your grip, and the long hair is whipped from your grasp and away with it, the magic leaves you. <laughs> you sit by the water's edge, watching the waves creep closer. You will now learn the true secret of Daedalee. Oh shit. No, no! 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 Okay. Well. The great influence to Sir was not meant to be. Well, it was a fun series, guys. I guess we're done. That's it. We're dead. Shit. <laughs>